Twenty something years ago when I used to make wild and crazy inventions I thought of the oxygen and acetylene powered BB gun if it would improve the performance and if it would work. It did work. It worked really really well. It would fire all by itself just by the diesel effect of the compressing gases when you pull the trigger. There was no modifications in that effect. So then I got these two army surplus high pressure aircraft oxygen bottles that were manufactured in 1953. I made a little bracket so it can fit on the gun. I'll show you in a second. It sits right around the stock of the gun. The gun can still be loaded and fired as normally. Unfortunately there used to be two toggle switches on here that were air toggle switches and a couple little yellow hoses and a little hole drilled in the compression chamber right there. The two tubes hooked onto it. And you flick the two toggle switches for three seconds each at the same time. And when the gun was already cocked and loaded and the compression chamber was open because the plunger was back here, enough oxygen and acetylene would go into it to load itself for about 70 shots. It increased the power by about seven to eight times. For example, it would go through two by four like that. It would also go through, if you shot a car, go through both sides of the first door. It would go through the, the third panel on the second door and put a big dent in the fourth panel that didn't quite exit the fourth panel which is shot an ordinary General Motors car. That was pretty good. Made a blue flame out the end like a machine gun. So since I'm missing all of my little attachments to, to make it self-loading or self-charging whichever you want to say, I can still do it manually by putting the torch in the hole after I cock it. So let, I've already taken a couple test shots, just normal functioning mode, just to see the depth the BB penetrates. Well that BB's level. That BB went just below level. And that one's around level too, so it's not a very great gun. So let's charge it up and see what happens. To do this you need a slightly oxidizing neutral flame. See how it's kicking a little bit? Then you put it out against your shoe so it doesn't change the mixture, but the gas is still flowing. Okay. Now I've slightly modified the gun two inches back from the end where the BB sits. I drilled a one-eighth hole into the firing chamber. So long as the hole is drilled not too far ahead, If you have a problem shooting BBs out of your pellet gun from rolling out the barrel, I recommend you put a blob of grease around the click stop. It sort of stays there and every once in a while you dip a BB into the grease a little bit and a little bit of grease stays inside the barrel and the BBs don't roll out. And if you're shooting metal it actually causes it to penetrate deeper, it lubricates it. And it's good for your gun too. So now with the gun fully cocked, no BB in the barrel so there's ventilation in there. I'm going to put the welding tip into the hole and charge it with acetylene and oxygen. The mixture is set for putting it out on my shoe and now we're charging. This just displaces the air that's already in there by blowing it out the little hole. It's right there. This doesn't take very long. It's, it always seems to work. I'm just guessing. Great. Okay, I'll consider that full. Now I put my BB in the grease prevents it from falling out. Now click it shut. Here we go. Well, that's definitely an improvement.
this is the one that I just shot and the BB somewhere way in there and previous ones just kind of level this is a really wimpy gun it's worn out my original here we go for another try that one worked excellent I just adjusted the mixture a little bit I just adjusted the mixture a little bit nice sound effects and smoke like a real gun So let's do a depth test now. The first shot with gas. Half inch. The shot without gas. Level. The last shot I just did. Ooh, that's good. That's the whole length of the 2x4. I bet the BBs. Somewhere in my garage wall now. So remember kiddies, don't try this at home. It's just too easy to make a killer weapon out of your innocuous backyard BB gun just by drilling a little hole in it. That's the only modification I used. And it hasn't lost any power at all when I use it as a normal BB gun. And if you can find some army surplus tanks or something, you can make little brass adapters so that you can charge it off your bigger tanks like I did and have a portable self-loading acetylene oxygen powered BB gun. Cool.